Gibraltar International Airport or North Front Airport IATA, GIB, ICAO, LXGB, is the civilian airport that serves the British Overseas Territory of Gibraltar. The runway is owned by the Ministry of Defence for use by the Royal Air Force as RAF Gibraltar. Civilian operators use the civilian operated terminal. National Air Traffic Services hold the contract for provision of air navigation services at the airport. In 2017, the airport handled 571,184 passengers and 302,094 kilograms of cargo on 4,888 total flights. Winston Churchill Avenue, the main road heading towards the land border with Spain, intersects the airport runway and consequently has to be closed every time a plane lands or departs. The History Channel program Most Extreme Airports ranked the airport the fifth most extreme airport in the world. It is exposed to strong cross winds around the rock and across the Bay of Algeciras, making landings in winter particularly uncomfortable. Monarch Airlines was the largest operator at Gibraltar International, operating flights to Birmingham, London Gatwick, London Luton, Manchester Airport. Both routes were operated by an Airbus A320-200. Monarch entered administration at 4.30 a.m. on 2 October 2017, ceasing operations with immediate effect, around a year after rumors of its imminent demise became widespread. EasyJet operates seven weekly flights to London Gatwick operated by Airbus A320 family aircraft, as well as three flights per week to Bristol Airport and two flights a week to Manchester Airport. British Airways also operates nine weekly flights to London Heathrow being operated by an Airbus A320-200. Royal Air Maroc Express also operate twice weekly flights to Tangier Ibn Battuta Airport, which continue on to Casablanca Airport. Although located in Gibraltar, the airport is also used by people travelling to or from neighbouring parts of southern Spain such as the Costa del Sol or the Campo de Gibraltar. History Construction The airport was constructed during World War II upon the territory's race course introduced by the Maltese, when Gibraltar was an important naval base for the British. Originally opened in 1939, it was only an emergency airfield for the Royal Navy's fleet air arm. However, the runway was later extended by reclaiming some land from the Bay of Gibraltar using rock blasted from the Rock of Gibraltar while carrying out works on military tunnels. This last major extension of the runway allowed larger aircraft to land at Gibraltar. <laughs> <laughs> development since the 2000s On 3 November 2003, Monarch announced a new route from Gibraltar to Manchester Airport. It was the first route from Gibraltar to operate to the north of England. However, on 19 July 2006, Monarch withdrew the route due to the cost. On 21 April 2008, Monarch announced it would resume the services to Manchester from 12 September 2008. The route operated three to five times a week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday in winter season, as well as on Thursdays and Sundays in the summer season. By late 2005 and early 2006, the implementation of a new agreement was one of the main topics of the Gibraltar Trilateral Forum being held between the governments of Gibraltar, Spain and the United Kingdom. As a result, the Córdoba Accord was signed on 18 September 2006 by all parties. This ended all discriminatory restrictions on civilian flights to Gibraltar International, including the prohibition of flights over Spanish soil, and exclusion of Gibraltar from all EU agreements on air transport, allowing civilian flights from all nations into Gibraltar International. On 17 November 2006, Iberia announced that it would start flights from Madrid to Gibraltar using an Airbus A319 aircraft. This was a landmark move as no Spanish airline had flown to Gibraltar since 1979, because of its disputed status. Iberia began flights to Gibraltar International on 16 December 2006 with a flight from Madrid that included some members of the Spanish government on board. GB Airways flew a one-off flight in the other direction with a group of children from the Gibraltar area making up the passengers. 
In May 2007 GB Airways flying as a British Airways franchisee also began operating the route between Madrid and Gibraltar, however, this was discontinued on 30 September, leaving Iberia to work the route alone. On the 22nd of September 2008 Iberia announced that it would cease its flights to Madrid by 28 September due to «economic reasons», namely, lack of demand. This left Gibraltar, once again, without any air links with Spain. In April 2009, Andalus Lineas Aereus restored Gibraltar's air link with the Spanish capital. In July 2009, Andalus also began scheduled flights to Barcelona, increasing the destinations in Spain to two. However, the airline ceased to serve this route in September 2009 due to a lack of demand. In April 2010, it was confirmed that Andalus flights to and from Gibraltar had been indefinitely suspended. And now yet again, Gibraltar has no direct air links to Spain. Andalus Lineas Aereus ceased operations on 13 August 2010. In 2009, British Airways moved their flights from Gatwick to their main base at London Heathrow. From 2011 until October 2012, EasyJet offered thrice weekly service from Gibraltar to Liverpool, but it was eventually cancelled due to lack of demand. On 18 May 2011, BMI Baby announced that it would launch flights from Gibraltar to East Midlands from 31 March 2012. This was the first time that an airline has operated that route. The route operated on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, using a Boeing 737-300. However, on 3 May 2012 it was announced that BMI Baby was to be closed down by the International Airlines Group after the group failed to find a buyer for the airline. BMI Baby operated its last service to Gibraltar on 8 September 2012 and the airline operated its last flight on 9 September 2012. On 10 January 2012, Gibraltar was selected as one of the world's scariest airport landings and take-offs in the travel section of the Daily Telegraph due to its runway which extends into the sea. On 14 August 2012, Monarch announced it would launch a new route to Birmingham operating three times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. The route began on 23 March 2013 but changed to running on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. In the summer of 2014 services between Gibraltar and Marrakesh were operated by Royal Air Maroc Express on behalf of a local travel company, Your Flight. However, the services, which were operated on a charter basis, and could not be booked via global distribution system channels or on a connection basis, terminated after just three months due to insufficient demand. In November 2014, EasyJet announced that they would begin a new route to Bristol Airport. The new route commenced on 19 April 2015. It was also announced in November 2014 that the short intercontinental air connection between Gibraltar and Tangier would be restored after many years and operated by Royal Air Maroc with services beginning in March 2015 on a twice weekly basis. Unlike the previous Marrakesh flights these would be operated by RAM for themselves, and offer connecting flights to their Casablanca hub and onwards, and be available via normal sales channels. Overnight work to resurface the runway started on the evening of September 4, 2015, and work was completed in January 2016. In November 2015, EasyJet announced that they would begin a new route to Manchester Airport twice weekly, making this the first time two airlines have competed against each other on the Manchester-Gibraltar route. The new route is due to commence on 3 July 2016. During the same month, Monarch announced a new route from Gibraltar to London Gatwick, beginning on 1 May running four times a week. On 2 October 2017, the CAA confirmed that Monarch Airlines had ceased operations with immediate effect and had entered administration. All arriving and departure flights were cancelled. Monarch operated about a third of the airport's movements prior to shutting down. On 12 July 2018, EasyJet announced a twice-weekly new route to London Luton restoring the link between the two airports. The route will start in December 2018. <laughs> <laughs> Disputes regarding territory's status The airport is located on the isthmus that connects Gibraltar with the rest of the Iberian Peninsula. Whether or not the airport's territory was ceded by the Treaty of Utrecht is disputed by Spain and Britain. In the spring of 1815, Spain claims an epidemic of yellow fever struck Gibraltar, so that the British authorities built several barracks as field isolation in the neutral zone. 
On 20 April 1815 Lieutenant Governor of Gibraltar, George Don agreed with the General Commander of the Campo de Gibraltar, General Don José María de Alos, that a large proportion of the inhabitants of Gibraltar to not have they suffered fever, temporarily established on the neutral ground, as close as circumstances permit, in front of this fortress." In 1908 the British government erected a fence that forms the actual border. Spain claims of the original 156 hectares of neutral ground, England annexed 106. In this location Gibraltar Airport was built, Spain's continuing sovereignty dispute with the United Kingdom over the territory where the airport stands different from the generic one on Gibraltar itself has seriously affected the airport's operations. On 2 December 1987, an agreement was signed between the governments of the United Kingdom and Spain to allow the joint civil use of the airport. The agreement foresaw the building of a new terminal in the neighboring Spanish municipality of La Línea de la Concepción adjacent to the northern side of the existing frontier. However, the agreement was blocked by the government of Gibraltar, led from 1988 by Joe Bassano. As a result, the agreement was never implemented. Since then, Spain successfully excluded Gibraltar from European-wide deregulation initiatives, such as the single European Sky program preventing direct links from Gibraltar to the rest of the European Union except the United Kingdom, on the grounds that no regulation that somehow recognizes the sovereignty of the United Kingdom over the Gibraltar Peninsula may be implemented without a previous agreement on the airport. Terminals. There is one terminal at Gibraltar International. Flight departures moved into the new terminal on 26 September 2012 when the old terminal was closed on 25 September 2012. <inaudible> <inaudible> old terminal The old terminal at the airport was built in 1959 and refurbished in the late 1990s. For many years, it had been too small to cope with the number of passengers. The size of the terminal was 20,000 square meters square feet, and had ten check-in desks, one baggage carousel, one security gate and two departure gates. The departure gates then enabled passengers to board a bus which takes them to one of the new stands. On 26 November 2011, arriving flights switched to the new terminal as the first phase of the new terminal opened. On 25 September 2012, the old terminal closed its doors as flight departures moved into the new terminal on 26 September 2012. The last flight to use it was EasyJet Flight EZY 8904 to London Gatwick. The old terminal building was demolished in February 2014 and will make way for a new coach park. New terminal. A new terminal has been constructed at Gibraltar International due to increasing number of passengers. Planning permission was announced in 2007 with construction of the new terminal began in 2009 and was finished by 2011. The first phase of the new terminal opened on 26 November 2011 for arriving flights only. The second phase of the new terminal opened on 26 September 2012 when flight departures moved. The first flight to use the first phase was EasyJet Flight EZY 7295 from Liverpool and the first flight to use the second phase was British Airways Flight BA 491 to London Heathrow. The terminal's terrace was inaugurated by the Earl of Wessex, Prince Edward on the 13th of June 2012. The terminal is 35,000 square meters, 380,000 square feet, which is 15,000 square meters, 160,000 square feet bigger than the old terminal. It has two baggage carousels and three departure gates, none of which are equipped with jet bridges. Only one of the two baggage carousels is in use for flights. It has a passenger capacity of up to 1.5 million passengers per year. Retail services are also available in the terminal and these include W. H. Smith, 36 North Bar and Gibraltar duty-free stores. A new general aviation area has also been built inside the terminal to handle private aircraft. Expansion <laughs> 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 New 
New road access The road across the runway is constraining operations at the airport, especially with the increase in operations since the Cordoba Agreement. Prior to this agreement, only three flights operated daily to Gatwick and Luton, and three flights a week to Manchester. On busy days, at present, some seven flights now arrive and depart. If the average time the road is closed for an aircraft to land or depart is 10 minutes, then on certain days the road can be closed for over two hours. Because of this, a new four-lane diversion road and tunnel section was planned. The new runway tunnel will reduce delays and tailbacks caused by aircraft taking off and landing. Construction of the new road was due to begin in January 2008 and be completed by the beginning of 2009, but as of 2016 it was still not completed. Although the road across the runway is to remain in place, for exceptional, specific, or emergency use, it will not be available for routine day-to-day -day use by private vehicular traffic. Pedestrians will not be required to travel via the new road, tunnel, and will continue to cross the runway at the present location. A prolonged litigation between the government of Gibraltar and contractor Ole over the delay was resolved in June 2016 with an agreement for Ole to complete the works at a price of £24 million and a projected finish date of November 2018. A new dual carriageway is also being built. It will pass under the new terminal and towards the eastern edge of the runway at which point it will pass through a tunnel under it and connect via a roundabout with Devil's Tower Road on the opposite side of the runway. After the road tunnel on the north side of the runway the new road will run parallel to the frontier, passing under the air terminal flyover section. The road will then branch into two, with one road leading to the loop and the frontier, and another leading to the air terminal, North Front and Winston Churchill Avenue. <laughs> new car parks A number of car parks are being built at Gibraltar International during its expansion, including a new 220-space, three-story car park located at the east of the new terminal. Another new car park is to be built by Eastern Beach, and two multi-story facilities will also be built on Devil's Tower Road. The old terminal building is to be demolished to make way for a coach park. Airlines and destinations Topic Statistics Topic Accidents and Incidents On 4 July 1943, a B-24 Liberator crashed into the C-16 seconds after taking off from Gibraltar Airport at 23.07 hours, killing all 11 passengers and five of the six crew. Among the passengers was Lt. Gen. Władysław Sikorski, Commander-in-Chief of the Polish Army and Prime Minister of the Polish Government in Exile, who had been inspecting Polish forces in the Middle East during World War II. A British inquiry ruled the crash an accident, concluding that the plane's controls had jammed for an unknown reason. However, several conspiracy theories continue to persist. On the 22nd of May 2002, a Monarch Boeing 757-200 registration GMONC suffered structural damage to the forward fuselage in the area of the nose landing gear during landing at Gibraltar while operating a flight from Luton. The captain had used an incorrect landing technique, applying full nose down elevator. This control input resulted in a high pitch down rate at nose wheel touchdown, exceeding the design limits, before the aircraft's nose wheel had touched the ground. There were no injuries. On 17 March 2006, the flight deck crew of a Monarch Boeing 757-200 registration G -Mon lost visual contact with the runway after passing the Visual Decision Point VDP while attempting to land at Gibraltar. During the subsequent go-around, the crew did not follow the correct missed approach procedures but Air Traffic Control ATC provided effective heading control to avoid striking high ground. The lowest altitude of the aircraft when over land was 2,100 feet 640 meters. The highest local ground elevation, just south of the airfield, is 1,420 feet 430 meters. Following the incident, ATC and Monarch changed their procedures to reduce the chances of repeating a similar occurrence. 
On 8 February 2017, a Royal Gibraltar police vehicle drove onto the runway in a bid to stop an Airbus A400M Atlas plane from taking off. The ensuing standoff between the RGP and MOD caused two hours of delays for anyone crossing the runway via the road crossing. This was due to a serving member of the military on board the RAF aircraft being wanted by the RGP for alleged sex offenses. The suspect was eventually removed from the aircraft as well as his personal computer equipment and the plane was allowed to leave two hours later. In popular culture The runway featured in a BBC Top Gear special and was also used by Jaguar in the launch of a new range. A custom-painted Boeing 737 was used in conjunction with a fleet of the cars. The airport appeared on Channel 5 series, Gibraltar, Britain in the Sun which was broadcast from June to July 2013. The airstrip and the Four Corners border crossing feature at the end of Carol Reed's 1963 production of The Running Man. Several takes were shot as Remick and Harvey chase each other, firstly through the border and later as the light aircraft took off from the eastern end of the runway, narrowly missing an RAF Halifax aircraft which was supposed to be taking off too. See also List of airports in the United Kingdom and the British Crown Dependencies Algeciras Heliport, Heliport on the suburbs <laughs>